everybody welcome back to my channel today i am going to be joined with yo yo this is cat just known as just Shaquille. you know the vibes yes. today we are going to be doing a chicken licken wing mukbang my face looks so full oh my god let's take a moment she for fuck this. it up. <laughs> <laughs> let's just take a moment for the food but yeah um how do you feel are you mm. excited are you nervous to be on my channel like this looks very pressing okay very okay how do you feel about like um relationships in general mm, relationships so okay for me right now relationships are considered they can never work out at a time like this yeah because okay. Everyone in the generation that we're in, like right now, have like a similar intention to what they want in a relationship. And also, people are just afraid to be hurt again. So people have like this guard up instead of mm -hmm. really opening themselves up in. Yeah. What type of person are you though? Like, are you scared to open up, or are you just whatever happens? Let me tell you about it. So with me, right, is this thing of like in a relationship, you get like. The first signs I was gonna give you is like I'm actually clean. Right away. Right away. Okay. What's the outside of you? I'm a tourist. Like I give a lot of affection. And I'm also the type of person that will wanna live in your skin. You wanna just be there. Yeah, just okay, skin, okay. Just stick through your heart there, you know. Mm -hmm. Chill, relax there, blow on with a couch. But are you like willing to open yourself up or are you guarded? No, I opened up myself at like, the same time. Okay. I really trust the person when I get into such things. Really? Yeah. Trust issues. Okay. Right, it's not hard for me to trust someone. So it, it depends on the energy that they have. Okay. If they give me like that energy that I know that we're going to be fine, that's when I open up. And if there's other energy that I sense that is not okay, I'll just be like, oh, wait, let me just think about it. Yeah. Okay. It's like I have this thing of like sensing energy. I see you. I see mm -hmm. you. Now I don't know am I just bad luck, but like I am like that. Like I will sense your energy mm -hmm. and then it's phenomenal and then I let you in. And then after time it's like it just changes. Like it's like the energy switches up. And I'm someone who if you're gonna if you're gonna change up what you showed me in the beginning, I'm gonna question what you really want and then mm -hmm. I might leave you. Mm. I believe that if you're gonna change up, mm -hmm. then you don't really want me like you say you do, you know? Because especially with a guy, a guy will always show you what he really wants. Yeah, because like it's like with, with most of the guys, like first time thing, they wanna show you like a sign of like I want you, like you know, like they wanna give you a sense of illusion of like they wanting you to be there as I'm dating, whatever. Then after like. A few weeks or months once you've opened up to them then they'll put this whole thing on you knowing that um, your weaknesses and all that and use those against you then they can switch you up or switch it up then you can actually like sense some other people can't sense but the people they can sense actually like you know there was a person that i wanted to be with right mm -hmm. but the energy that i was just giving off it wasn't that energy of like i want to be in a relationship with you but she told me firsthand that she wants to be in a relationship with me but the energy does not match what she said because basically for her it's like this thing of like i want to smash go if this person is not gonna allow me i'm gonna go to another one that's how i sensed it i think it's because a lot of females are changing now like before it wasn't like that females would never like that yeah like the switch of the past few years has been a big big shift let me just say the game because i'm now playing the game that the guys are playing Rule number one to be a boss ass bitch. Uh -huh. Never let a clown nigga try to play you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Which is way, making you look like you girls are evil, but you're not. You're just playing the same game that the guys are playing. Which is not wrong. Yeah. That's not wrong. Not wrong. Because it's better to be smart than get yourself hurt. Thing is like yourself. with girls, man. With girls, they used to being hurt a lot. Mm -hmm. So y'all just adapted to this thing of like being hurt So y'all know when you're hurt or when you know when it's coming You know what to expect With guys, not people that actually get hurt a lot That's why when you guys do the same thing It actually hurts more because you're not used to it mm -hmm. That's why That is making you look like you guys are evil 
But we, your guys are not evil, we just too weak. You can't handle that shit. Because you can't handle you the pain. Accustomed yeah. to that. You can't handle You're the pain. You're used to doing the playing. Yeah. So when you get played, it's like, what the hell mm -hmm. actually happened? It's more painful for a girl to do it than and a then, guy. And then, what's the sad thing about that is, once a guy's play once, then they shut off. Mm -hmm. Like, they shut off completely and they're not able to open up again. Mm -hmm. There's a time where you're completely shut off. Emotions, feelings, everything. I just kept on going on whoever. Mm -hmm. I thought that would fix everything. I thought it would fix the heartbreak. But it actually made things worse because like not worse in terms of like who I'm getting myself into or whatever. It made my it made me worse in terms of mentality and energy. Because I'm just feeding myself to a lot of people with different energies. So when it's mixed up, it's like shit. I'm receiving energy from people that I'm just doing one night stands with and whatever, and that energy is just building up and it's making me confused. Think about it this way, yeah? If you chill with a person constantly that's always depressed and negative, that energy is going to transfer onto you, right? You're going to feel drained once you leave them. Imagine sex. Don't you see why other people get depressed when they were not? Depending on who they slept with, after they slept with someone, mm -hmm. the energy that they fed off was some, from mm -hmm. someone that is actually depressed. I mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. No, I think I'm at that stage too, what you're saying that you went through, mm -hmm. but except with the sleeping around part. Mm -hmm. Like now I'm at a stage where I'm, I can't say I'm cold, but it's so difficult to open myself up again mm -hmm. because I was hurt so badly. Mm. So I'm not closed off completely to the idea of meeting someone because I'm still that, you know, that hopeless romantic type yeah. chick, you know. But it's harder for me to catch feelings or like say, okay, okay, I see something in someone. So now I'm at just like playing my cards like okay i'm getting to know people i'm like exploring what life is about because i've never done that i've always just yeah. okay i'm i meet this person i vibe who's my date now with me saying that i want to like be, but like just vibe and like date and explore it's not because i want to get to know and have mm -hmm. a talking stage no maybe one uh, one date i go on i'm gonna have that oh energy and then we're gonna fall in love yeah. and get married things like that yeah it's possible but for me it's like i've never really dated someone that I genuinely because I yeah, fuck with this person. Mm -hmm. Like everything about them is like my vibe. You know when last I actually felt felt for someone. Really? Like, like I literally like, deep felt like yeah. not understanding. I understand this too but when I say I like you but like that like like you you know that type of thing where like you I don't understand like, why you like them mm -hmm. but it's just that thing of like every time you see them like you don't understand how why you feel like this. Mm -hmm. It's been a while since I felt like that. Like I had a break for almost three years. I can say, uh -huh. or like just being single, and then I got into like relation, like short term relationships. Mm -hmm. that were heavy relationships last mm -hmm. year, and they were like one for like three months, and then one for like two months, mm -hmm. and it was heavy. Imagine like doing all of that in that specific time. So like, I don't know whether or not I genuinely even like them, or did I fall for them, or was it just infatuation so deep that I was like going crazy. Hmm. I think it's like getting lost in the moment. I think it was that day eh? because mm -hmm. when I look at them now, it's like they weren't even my type. I'm like, ah, why? 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 Like they weren't my type. What was I was thinking. <laughs> I also have those things of like after looking after like looking back to some of my relationships. I, I don't ask myself, it, mm -hmm. You don't, but you ask yourself like, shit, why? How did I get on with this person? Mm. And also it's like what did at the end like when i look at it i think that but i also look at it I'm like okay what did i have to learn yeah. from this experience because i mean i didn't really like you like you like that but, mm, but there was something that day, so what did i learn like what did i need to learn was, i'm just focused on just me and making money why is the thing no more there because mm. i can see someone really nice that likes me and like i'll be looking at them and be like why can't i like them back I'm just sitting on the couch there with a pipe, chilling, watching everyone and be like, hmm. Like, why am I not feeling some type of way? I think it's just all growth, you know? Yeah, you can see that. Girl. And like, you get tired of certain yeah. shit once you've mm -hmm. already been through it. You're like, I, mm -hmm. I don't want to exchange my energy and all you of that. You already know how it is. You don't realize, okay, I am mentally declining. Mm -hmm. Why am I mentally declining? Mm -hmm. There should be a reason because you 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 genuinely happy there's everything good going on in your mm -hmm. life yet there is like just factors that just make you feel like wait 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 yeah you start questioning shit in your life and you're like why i'm i'm okay like you happy letting go also really does yeah. help like 
getting over it and moving on from it and just realizing who also belongs in your mm -hmm. life and who doesn't. I put everybody come in my life in the category of a tree. Some people are like leaves on a tree. The wind blow, they over here. They unstable. They blow the other way, they over here. Ain't nothing. Season change, they wither and die, they gone. That's all right. That's some people. Most people in the world are like that. They just there to take from the tree. They ain't, they ain't there to do nothing but take and give shade every now and then. Some people are like a branch on that tree. You got to be careful with them branches too because they'll fool you. you. They'll get there and make you think they're a good friend and they're real strong. But the minute you step out there on them, they'll break and leave you high and dry. But if you find you two or three people in your life that's like the roots at the bottom of that tree, you are blessed because that's them the kind of people that ain't going nowhere. You understand? And, and, and they ain't got a whole, a, a tree can have a hundred million branches, but only a few roots down at the bottom to make sure it get everything it need. You got, I'm telling you something, when you get you some roots, hold on to them, but the rest of them, let it go. Just let it go. Let folks go. Yeah. But your relationships are something else. Your people don't exchange energy just like that. You're gonna get yourself into shit. Be very careful of your exchanging of energy. But not like the, the trouble, trouble, but like your mind. And your mind, like, is control of everything in your body. Like, your mind can physically make you sick. Words are powerful. Your mind is powerful. You speak and believe, receive it. The, the heart, the, the, the magic in, in, in the speak and believe, receive it is the belief. If we don't believe we're going to go nowhere, we won't. We'll be a statistic society. We'll believe our peers, what they are saying. Sometimes you have to separate yourself and have a strong mindset to say, I am going to do this. I shall. It's in the speaking that we speak. We have to speak in, in the present tense that it shall come to us, and we have to believe. Without belief, there's no faith. Without belief, there's no going to, there's no tomorrow without belief we can't be great we all have greatness in us greatness is only determined by service so apply your service and when you shall see your greatness about it yourself as well yeah people don't know that day eh? yeah they don't know <laughs> so yeah anyway guys hopefully you guys enjoyed a little bit of a mark bank chit chat about relationships it did get kind of deep but we like Very that type deep. of stuff we like that type of stuff hope you guys enjoyed the video hope you guys enjoyed him on my channel please do comment down below if you guys want him back on my channel back. and yeah please do follow him please. come with good energy yes anyway that was my instructor you want to say anything else enjoy your days and yeah 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 <laughs> that was my niche life bye guys